Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here and is season 3 about to be an absolute banger for Halo? If you've been here on the channel, you know that I've been kind of reluctant to believe in all the hype, you know, with the winter update and whatnot. I'm still skeptical, I'm skeptical, but you know I like to be fair and honest on this channel. So if you like that and you enjoy Halo content, make sure you throw a sub my way. We are grinding the 15k. A lot of you watch the videos and you're not subbed, so go ahead, join, join us, please. But getting back into it, before th Season 3, we actually are supposed to have a drop pod. I don't know if Unishek actually said drop pod, but a quality of life update before the end of the year. I mean, it's the end of November, and with the holidays coming up and people taking vacation at, like, the end of December, you know, Christmas to New Year's time, I would think that that means that this update is going to come soon, like the first two weeks of December. I feel like it needs to be within the first two weeks because if they update the game and something catastrophic happens then you need somebody or people there that can fix it so it's not just like sitting in limbo for a couple weeks which is kind of what happened before but i digress now a lot of you if you follow me on twitter if you haven't already make sure you do but i've retweeted a couple of serages um i they're not really leaks i don't know how he does it he's just he's just a wizard but he showed off some new pictures of maps that are coming in season three and one map that is not confirmed to be for season three so that's definitely exciting i know that we're supposed to get the pit remake by the end of this year too maybe that will be in the quality of life update the maps are called oasis cliffhanger and chasm and oasis and cliffhanger are actually new names they used to be called exiled and ridgeline and Suri just says that for the final map, I'm not completely sure of when it'll arrive. But 343 might be starting to repurpose campaign areas as multiplayer maps. And that's nothing new to Halo. So honestly, I'm just glad that there's maps coming. More maps. Also with Season 3, we get the Custom Games Browser. So all you people out there, including myself, watching all these cool, you know, forged maps and game modes being played. But you don't have any friends and you play at like 9 p.m. and you only have 30 minutes soon you will be able to queue into those playlists so that's also super exciting we also get new equipment and new weapons with the or new weapon i guess with the season three update and that's you know the dmr bandit rifle and man lord knows we need some sandbox items something else that i think that we haven't really heard a lot about is the cross core stuff like we got visors and that's been it so hopefully we get a surprise with the little quality of life update because that would be a very big quality of life update i would very much like that and also the cool thing about season three is we're not waiting half a year to play it so that's nice it'll be here before we know it hopefully please so let me know in the comments down below i read all the comments let me know how you're feeling about the winter update are you playing forge or i guess are you playing forge creations are you messing around in forge are you enjoying halo infinite more are you playing more and remember like the video it greatly helps me my youtube channel is absolutely dead and i would greatly appreciate it and i will catch you around the ring peace